men, boys, I've been loyal to my whole life. The men that killed my brethren, we all knew each other. So that confused me. I didn't understand why they would do that. So I said to my mum, why did they do that? Tell me why they done that, mum. And she explained to me why. They killed my friends for a gold and gold and gold. Okay, it was packing my head as eyes or whatever you want to call it. It was metal. And they killed him and left him on the floor like he was a piece of rubbish. Now, I'm not going to stand up here and lie to nobody. I want to come out and hurt them all. Because what we are, we're gang members, we're criminals, we're violent people. Changing my narrative, my mindset, everything. This is what she said to me. She said, Jacob, my son, I've got something else to tell you. You may hate me, my son, but I've got to tell you this. And then my mom just said to me, Jacob, I'm so happy. I can sleep at night. You're safe in there, Jacob. Now, when she says this, she breaks my heart. She breaks it into pieces. I've got the phone down, I go back to myself, and I'm thinking for days and then about my life, my dreams, my ambitions, my friends, my mom, my boys, my oldest. And what I realized was who I was. I was a monster. I was selfish. I was a human being that always took from people, never gave back. I was a human being that hurt my mom day in, day out. So I done this. I changed. I changed. I came out of prison. I didn't join the gang. I don't carry a knife or gun. I don't sell drugs. I go all around this country and I get the pleasure to speak to young people and let them know like this. Decisions, someone said it earlier, decisions have consequences. So do choices. Young people have to make the right decisions and the right choices for themselves as well as the people around them. Now, I was a facilitator four years ago. Now I'm not a facilitator. I train other facilitators to go out and do what I used to do. Okay? Now, I'm going to leave this for everyone like this. I've been 23 years in jail. See you, young man. I've done it for you. Young lady, I've done it for you also. Any young person, that's who I've done that 23 years for. So I can speak to them and inspire them to not make the same choices and the decisions that me and many of me made. And if I can change one young person, just one, I'm never going to stop trying. My love, my people. Say one thing, and that's real. This man is real. And he hasn't, he hasn't, he hasn't glamorized his life. He hasn't glamorized his past. He's told you how it is, how it really is. And if you talk about struggles, to come out from the place that this young man has come from, to be standing here before you and telling his story with passion and pride, just because he doesn't want you to go what he went through, you, you, anybody, this is real. And I know how we connected, because it's real. I think that's what I said. But we connected, and that's the reason. Um, I'm going to ask this young man if you don't mind to write your story and I will find it. Everyone said that no. Let me say something. Thank you very much. Know something. Inspire. This is everyone's story. Your story and the guy before you, Chris. Yes? And many people have said that to me. Jacob, you should write a book. Many people told me that. Told me. Let me tell you something, I've actually written a book when I was in jail, but I left it with a man then to read, to inspire them. You feel me? Maybe I should have brought it out, but we will speak. And if God is willing, a lot of Adam, I meant to write a book in the van. If you can inspire any young person, then that's what I'm on. No doubt about it, man.
you know, the celebrations and the shopping and all that sort of stuff. But while he was talking, I was at the back and I was crying because I was crying because of the pain that he's experienced in his life, but I was also crying because of the joy of how he's transitioned and what he's come to. 23 years of his life. Some people might have children that are 23 years old. Okay? And yes, it was in and out and so forth, but to lose 23 years of your life is a big part that you can't get back. Organization is called Uninspired. The purpose of the organization is to inspire others to reach goals, to move mountains, to do something for themselves. And I was definitely inspired and I'm so proud of you from where you've come from, from where we've come from, but from where you've come from and the transition that you've been able to make for yourself and for our community. You know, and then you can stand here and tell that story because a lot of people can't tell that story. And even for our elders, I've asked our, our, our elders to come and speak and talk about the story because as I said before, they are the reason why I was inspired to create this organization. So I thank you from the bottom. Uh, people say the bottom, but from the whole of my heart, because I'm sharing the story today.